A beautiful woman or a scary woman? Three, two, one. Hey my little peaches and welcome back to a brand new video and it's Monday which means we create sims and I'm looping it into a challenge for this episode. Also I would just like to point out, hopefully my audio sounds okay. I know my audio still ain't perfect you guys. So basically all of my sound absorbers are wrapped around the internet box in the corner. But we are getting a box sent out that that's gonna go in and be soundproof which means I can get all my like acoustic tiles, put them on the wall behind me so it will improve. I just have to wait for this box to arrive before the internet. So I'm sorry if things have been a little bit echoey. I know when I look back, I do, I like, I par I'm really paranoid about it. So I look back at my videos and this is the old sound. And I get really paranoid that it's because it's not as good as it used to do. So I'm sorry about that, but I promise you it will improve. So on to today's cast challenge. I've seen a few people do this and I didn't initially get it. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, this makes total sense. So today's challenge is the toddler to adult challenge, which means in cast, I will create a toddler. I'll probably do a boy and a girl. And I'm gonna try and make this toddler as adorable as I possibly can. And then I've got to age them up into a young adult and give them like a thin makeover but not change any of the sliders, not change any of their like bone structure sort of features and see if we can get a good looking sim. Now this probably sounds to you like oh my gosh this is like the easiest challenge ever like anyone could do this. No let me show you why this is actually quite hard and I know this from trying to do this too many times so if I take this little boyo here and like I want to make him a cute toddler so you know let's like make his face all small and cute. Give him a little teeny tiny chin let's like give him like a uh, give him a cute little button nose and like let's give him like really big cute eyes like all the stuff that you kind of want to do to make a, a toddler like super super cute you do all this stuff and you're like oh my gosh my little bamburino is so adorable he's gonna make such an attractive adult and then you go for pow and you're like what have i actually created i shouldn't be allowed to play the game anymore what even is this what even is this right here humans in real life can never get these strange proportions and you just start to realize You've made a bit of an error in judgment when creating the sim. So this is why this challenge is actually going to be kind of tougher than you initially think. As always, I encourage you guys to play this challenge along with me at home. So if you do decide to make these little similarinos using the toddler to adult challenge, please send me your toddlers and your adults. Take a little screenshot or a picture of both of them. Tweet me them. Send me on Instagram. I'll try and see as many of them as I can. And let's see what kind of sims we can create. So guys, let's do the toddler to adult challenge. So let's first of all, I'll get rid of this monstrosity right here. <laughs> and I'm gonna do a girl first, just because I kind of like doing girly whirlies. She is gonna be called... Pow! Aubrey. Aubrey, okay. Aubrey Clinton. She is Hillary Clinton's child, did you not know? And let's pop her into toddler form. Oh, wow. This is a bit of an angry toddler we're starting with right here. So, let's have a look at what kind of a sort of starting base we want for this little Simlerino. I'm kind of, oh, you're meant to be a girl. You're a girl. Yeah, you are a girl. I'm kind of vibing that I want to go for like the, um, like redhead kind of route. I want to do that. So I've given her quite pale skin and I'm going to give her like, uh, blue eyes. Or should I give her green eyes? <gasps> I could give her like a proper little Irish look. Everyone always assumes that Irish people have green eyes and red hair. More or less everybody I know who's Irish, like in my family or beyond, has brown hair, like mousy brown hair and blue eyes. Like almost every Irish person I know actually has that version of things. So I don't really know where the green eyes and red hair comes from. But from my personal experience, it, it ain't really right. Just to like, I don't know, disappoint you guys, I guess. <laughs> but it's not the experience I have personally with the Irish folk. Not that my experience is the only experience. But I just thought I'd tell you guys anyway. So, uh, usually, not usually, but often when you have uh, red hair, you tend to also get the freckles, which is a beautiful added bonus because you guys know me. I love, love a good frecklerino. I'm going to give her some adorable little pepper and a freckles across her nose here. Already loving her, you guys. And I've never actually had a child pale enough for the snow skin before that I have downloaded. I'm kind of tempted to do it with this one. <laughs> that is very pale, though. Like, I thought that was pale until I put that skin on and then I'm like, no, this is, this is true paleness. Before you was just pretending you was pale. Oh, we've got this too. I like this because I can make a toddler looks a little bit different to my main series and it doesn't matter because she's not been added to the series. So we can have a little play around you guys. I think I might go for this ultra pale option as well. I'm going to go for this one. Oh, oh, 
and they're excited. Oh my gosh, look at that, like, once I took the freckles off, look at the crazy difference. It's like so much glowiness. I do want freckles though, but I might not go for those ones. I can already tell you right now, from a toddler perspective, this kid is gonna be very beautiful, but I have no idea how they're gonna look once they're all grown up. Why can't I do that skin and freckles, okay? That's just offensive to freckles everywhere. Oh, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do, no, I wanna do freckles. I was gonna say I'm gonna do less freckles when she's a kid, cause really, you get freckles from sun exposure, Exposure. so you'd kind of expect a kid to have less. Uh, and then you get more as you get older, I think. I don't know. I can't even remember if I had freckles as a kid or not. I'm just spitballing red right now. I'm literally designing everything about this child. <laughs> She is getting so many design features right now. I'm having a lot of fun with this challenge already. Can you tell? <laughs> I've not really changed any of the features of her face. So I think that's like the next thing that I need to do, isn't it? See, this is where it's so hard because I think it's very hard to predict in The Sims, like what your toddler's features are gonna end up like. Cause you don't really want to go to either side of the slider. You want to go like somewhere in between. Trust me, I know this because I've had so many toddlers that have just not ended up the way I expected them to at all. Or I've had toddlers that look the same when they're like uh, kids and then they end up looking like totally different when they get older. This is tough, I have no idea, literally no idea what I'm doing right now. <laughs> also, this is a thing I do, I give everyone big lips and then that translates as an adult to like massive lips so i can't do that i need to make the lips smaller i'm kind of like afraid to do stuff this is such a weird feeling <laughs> i'm actually afraid of like messing up this child I'm kind of like feeling like i need to make her eyes smaller because i feel like eyes are one of those things that like they get really big when they become like like adults but then tod like big eyes look bit good on toddlers so it's like it's hard this challenge is hard whoever thought this up is doing well i'm i'm really worried about that chin i'm worried that chin ain't gonna work so well but i think she's like she's definitely looking pretty cute i've not done her eyebrows yet i kind of like her little mud eyebrows <laughs> like a bit vexed looking isn't she but i want her to be this like really sweet angelic sort of looking child so maybe tone down the anger a little Little bit on the eyebrows, Claire. They're the nicest shaped eyebrows, though. I think for a little kid. So, wow, <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared because there's like less movement options for toddlers, but they all have more extreme reactions. Does she look? She look? Oh, she looks mad. <laughs> Why are you so angry? Who hurt you, child? I don't get it. These eyebrows usually look so good, but <laughs> not this damn. Oh my gosh, this baby looks so mad. Why have I got like? the bride of chucky for my child i think these eyebrows are probably gonna be the nicest they're so thin though like who's plucking my baby's eyebrows okay let's just let's just get to the hair i think that's gonna help us out a little bit oh man you can actually see just how pale she is when she start looking at the hair options she's looking super pale underneath that hair she's very cute though i do think she's cute i don't know about this jaw area though it's so, it's so hard, you guys. This is tough. So many of these ginger hairs as well just aren't a very natural color ginger. I'm not afraid to go like real ginger, you know? I want to go like the real deal. I like ginger anyway. I think ginger's really pretty. Oh, look, it's young Faith. <laughs> This kid's actually paler than Faith. This is good, and it kind of hides eyebrows as well. Like, what color is that? That's just not, that's not ginger at all. Why are creators so afraid of ginger? I want, like, representation for my redheads, you know? I don't feel like they're committing to the redhead cause at all. They, see, they've got it in their um, clay hairstyles, but not about to walk that path. I'm not prepared for that. See, that's like, like she's drank radiation. How, am I, how come I can give her ginger dreadlocks, but I can't give her ginger hair? <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna go for this one. Please bear in mind that it doesn't even touch on the level of ginger that I was looking for, but that I, I'm just gonna have to go with it. Oh no. Should I put a teeny tiny hat on her head? <laughs> How about some horns? Okay, she's got a cute little bow. It's, it's sort of cute. I know it's a bit of a strange bow. But let's just get her adorable little outfit before we age her up. Oh my gosh, yes, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. She sort of looks like she should be in like the Mary Poppins era of children. She doesn't really look like a child from this era. But I'm kind of okay with that. <laughs> Like I said, she's not like going into my main series, so I'm kind of just having a bit of fun with her. See, this is where I want to make her delightfully chubby, but you know what will happen if I age her up into an adult. She's gonna be, that's like the slider to the max. So I'm gonna put her just like about there. Oh wow, look how this fastens at the back. 
Showing off her little pale skin. Oh, should we give you a little necklace? Oh, what? There's no necklaces for children. How very rude. Okay, there we go, guys. There is little child Aubrey. As a toddler, you can't deny she is actually adorable. She is legit actually adorable. Okay, I've made another of her just so- I've just cloned her basically. Just so that we can do a little compare and contrast because now we are gonna turn this cute little bun bun who apparently comes straight out the 20s <laughs> into a young adult. And let's see if we've got a beautiful woman. Oh, goodbye the bean. The bean's over there. A beautiful woman or a scary woman. Three, two, one. Kapow! Oh my gosh. Oh no, her eyes are huge! <laughs> oh, okay, lesson learned on the eyes. Oh my gosh. <gasps> What's happened to the side of her face? <gasps> and her lips are huge. Guys, I thought I'd gotten out of the traps that we often find ourselves in, but it seems like we did not. It seems like I've made the same mistakes that I make all the time. I have learned nothing. Okay, let's see what we can at least do. I'm gonna see if I can get the same skin tone for her, just because I think it's a good way to carry on. That's, I'm just, oh, I can't believe I've done this. After everything I promised myself. So this is the snowy skin for adults. So I think I'm gonna, let's, I, I kind of want to stay pasty with her, you know? I want to go for something quite pasty. Let's see if it lets me still put freckles on her. Oh, okay, I can still keep her little frecklerinos. Her nose is weird. Look at her side profile. Like, from the front, oh, I was gonna say from the front she's great, but from the side she's not. That's not true at all. From the front, she's like Voldemort, maybe? I don't know. And the side, she's like Gollum? I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little bit too harsh. Probably being a little bit too harsh on her. Uh, I'm gonna give her this back. Oh, oh, okay. I can't give her her sidey little lips in anymore. How about her eyelids? Can I still give her eyelids? Okay, I can still give her her little eyelids. So at least we've got that going for us. There we go. And this is where I'd cut. I'd kind of want to give her glasses, but... If I put eyelashes on her, I feel like it's gonna take her skin off. Oh my gosh, it's not. Okay, I could give her eyelashes. So we've got that going for us. Also means maybe we can hide those chain eyes a little bit. <laughs> okay, you know what? The glasses are, it's almost good to have big eyes if you're wearing glasses. So I'm starting to get a bit more on board with her. I'm gonna take them off just while I'm making her though, just so I can see her a little bit more. Ah, uh, I can't put eyeshadow on with the skin tone. It must sit on top, so I can't put any- Oh, certain ones I can put on, but I don't really want to give her that, do I? But none of these other ones I can put on. And this is the only one really I can put on top of that skin as well. You know what? The bit I was most worried about, which was a jaw, is actually the best bit. It's the side that's wrong, isn't it? God's sake. <laughs> I'm gonna try and shrink those huge lips with the help of a little bit of teethy showing through. Okay, she's starting to look pretty cute, you guys. Sort of. And then what hair did she have as a kid? She had this with the little side ponytail. I can try and see if there's something similar-ish, but we're always gonna have the red hair at least. Mm. I think I'm gonna do this new hair on her, and I like that it goes a little bit lighter at the ends there. I think that's pretty cute. It is more red than ginger, which is something that's really bugging me, like about some hairs, but there's no other options. There's not really much else I can do. That's more the ginger I was thinking. Okay, we're gonna go for this one because it's definitely more along the lines of what I was trying to go for. And then we had her in like the little baby blue dress before, didn't we? Let's see what I can find her that kind of matches, but is a little bit more grown up. I don't want to put her back in a baby blue dress, is what I'm saying. Oh man, you've got to be careful with dark colors on her. Cause she's so pale. Oh my gosh, I just put white shoes on her, but somehow, she is whiter than the white shoes. Okay, so this was my first attempt at the toddler to adult challenge with little Aubrey. Huh. I think I haven't quite managed it yet. I don't think she's too bad, but her side profile is mega, mega flat. Her eyes are super huge and probably like a little bit too close together. Like it, it almost looks like she's an anime character. I would say that's the way she looks like if her eyes were a little bit further apart. She looks very anime character to me, but that was my first attempt. I don't think she's terrible. I just don't think she would be what you'd expect to get from that toddler. Because, like, I don't even think her eyes are big. Her eyes legit aren't even that big. And they're quite far apart. But that does not transcend over when you become an adult. So, this challenge is pretty tough. So, we're going to take our learnings from um, Aubrey and bring them over to a new challenge, you guys. So, this time it is... I'm just going to go... 
And it's gonna be a boy. And his name is gonna be... Oh, it came up with Dane then, but I missed it. Oh, no. Dion Perez. Dion Perez. Okay, Dion. I can't see anything while you're wearing that, friendo. Okay, I don't really know quite what kind of look to do on Dion. I want to give him, um, like, bluey... Uh, sorry, greeny brownie eyes, but as you can probably tell, I don't really have any that quite fit the bill. Not without getting all this annoyingness at the side, so I'm just gonna go for brownie instead. I'm kind of enjoying the skin tone it's given him, so I may just leave it at that, but let's have a look at some skin details for him. Although maybe I should do the shape of the face before I put the skin details on so that it can't like mess with them. And I'm like afraid to change the eyes too much now because <laughs> I don't want to end up with what we had last time. Really? I feel like I need to like pull his features in more to give him like a less flat appearance. I don't know. This is hard. Also, how does it decide how much muscle to give them as adults? Like what, what, what decides that? <laughs> I'm scared to do changes. Like, do I need to make his chin? What was our chin like last time? Our chin was okay, but like this is a little bit cheaty, but okay. So I can kind of see before that this bit here isn't really a very aggressive curve. I think it's a little bit more aggressive with him. I do think that's slightly more aggressive. Are his eyes too small though? But then I think his eyes are bigger than hers. Oh man, this is, this is hard. This is legit ridiculously hard. I, all these challenges, you look at them, you're like, oh, what are they? on about this looks so easy and then you try it out for yourself and you're like okay this is actually really really hard okay this one's gonna have the lua skin this one dion let's call him by his name okay claire i think he i think he could be a little cutie beauty cute beauty that does not make him sound cute makes him sound a bit pukey those eyebrows are doing some crazy return of jafar to me right now so funny whenever i make toddlers i always give them custom eyebrows but on this i'm sort of afraid of doing it i don't know why i just kind of am i don't know what kind of hair to give him though oh it's tough Maybe not that one. I am thinking black hair though. I am thinking black hair. I don't really know who would shave the side of their kid's head, so maybe not that hair. Oh look, it's my favorite hair, but you guys all really hate it. And I don't know why, because that hair is like ridiculously adorable. I think it's beautiful hair and my baby is gonna have that hair, okay? And you can't tell me what's for my real life baby because I'm just gonna laugh at you. Okay, Dion, it's between this and this. And since I don't go for this very often, that's what you're getting. The eyebrows are looking real fair compared to your hair now, but I don't even know anymore. I'm gonna give you a little teething rash. <laughs> Although I'm kind of vibing this one. It's like giving him a little healthy glow. I might make Dion a hype beast. <laughs> this is why I should never be allowed children. Why does Dion kind of look like he's gonna beat me up for protection money? <laughs> I legit feel like Dion's like, don't start anything. <laughs> Dion Perez. Don't start anything. He's cute though. He is super cute. I'm hating. Why are his eyebrows gray? Why is he just aged 10 years? Okay, that's giving him a little bit more of a gentler appearance. I know these eyebrows like flick up at the end, like the return of Jafar, but I still like him a lot. I am gonna make him a silly child. <laughs> oh, look how silly he is. Okay, the one thing I've realized that I didn't do with her is I didn't ever change like her actual body type. I mean, it worked out fine because she's got a ridiculously hot pot as a, as, a, as, a, as a human, as an adult. But I don't even know what the body types are for a toddler. I'm gonna like, because I'm looking and like, if I go to like his like nighttime wear, obviously his hair's gone blonde because my game's so broken for this. I can't drag his body sliders because I was trying to like do his legs and stuff and I can't do it. But what you can do is just like change his body like type. I don't really know what all this means, but I'm just gonna leave him like here. So he looks like a lollipop. Okay, Dion, you are ready. It is time for you to be cloned, my child. Look at her holding herself. How weird. Okay, we've got twice the Dion's now, which is kind of a scary concept, yeah. but there we go. Two little Dion's. Let's go ahead and make him into a young adult and see if he can be saved or not. Okay. Three, two, one, go! Oh. oh, wow. He just took that return of Jafar look and he just went with it, guys. He literally just went full Jafar. Never go full Jafar. Okay, let's just remove all of these. His face ain't too bad. His face, I feel like, is pretty good. 
We need to put Lua back on him. I think we could be onto something here, you guys. And I need to put his little lashes back on. Okay, so he's got his lashes back on. His brows were these ones. Less Jafari now, I'm noticing. And his hair. So his hair, I don't think I have, like, the adult version of his hair. I mean, that would probably be the closest thing. But I'm not quite sure how much I'm vibing that. If at all. The temptation to just go for... The hair I always go for is pretty strong. Although this looks pretty cool on him. They need to release more male hairs. Like, I swear for every one female hair you can download. Sorry, for every 100 female hairs you can download, there is one male hair. I think I'm gonna go for- Oh, look at this. A little purple streak. Oh, don't mind if I do. Look at that grey streak. Very cheeky. Let's give you some facial hair, friendo. Okay, the one thing I am noticing is because I went for that slider. He is pretty skinny, you guys, but that's okay. Where are your eyelashes gone? There they are. He's definitely less scary as an adult. Like, he was a pretty scary kid, but he's not a scary adult, so that's nice. Give him some piercings, because, you know, that's just the way I roll. And I said I was just going to make him a hype beast, didn't I? So I kind of feel like I have to do that now. I need the shoes, don't I? Where are the shoes? The shoes. Look how tiny they make his feet look. Why is that even a thing? Like, look, feet and then shrink the feet. Can I make them bigger? The feet are so tiny. It's actually just cracking me up right now. I think I'm gonna give him some black socks with them. So you've got that like pulled in sort of look. Needs to be even higher. Looks like his trousers go in really tight at the bottom because, you know, that's the kind of vibe. And we need some chains and whatnot. Okay, he's back to looking a little bit more scary again. But he's still, he's still got a really cute face. Okay, I feel like we did a much, much better job with Dion than we did with Aubrey because her eyes are just so big that she's like in Uncanny Valley. But we had... Toddler Aubrey, who was obviously really adorable, really cute, dressed like she was in the Von Trapp family, and she aged up into an anime character. <laughs> she literally aged up into an anime. So that was her toddler to adult challenge. And then we had beat you up for protection money, um, Dion, who actually ended up turning into sweet but trying to be edgy little hype beast. Ooh. I like him. I think he's really cool. I actually kind of want to add him to the series. Let me know what you guys think of them all. Like, which one's your preference? I kind of think Dion's the better one. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And honest to God, give this challenge a go. Yeah. It is so much harder than it looks. And maybe do it the way I've done, where you've created sims that you would never normally, like... They're a bit different to what you'd normally do. I mean, he isn't. Let's face it, that's every male character I've ever made. But I think the toddler version of him is a little bit different, maybe? Nah. <laughs> but I hope you guys like the results of this challenge. Please let me know who you like more in the comments below. Is it Dion? Is it Aubrey? Which one did I do a better job on? In the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this toddler to adults challenge. Please try it yourself. Please tweet me your results. And I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs> If I put my yeah, you won't come up, I got a wink of a